We started research units uh, by selling an iPhone initially to gain some capital to start our business back in 2011. Um, but we actually learned everything that we know, most things that we know through YouTube, um, Japanese craftsmanship, hand stitching, edge beveling, everything that we needed to know about the leather goods industry initially. And that's kind of how we started research unit. I was a little bit dissatisfied with what was happening in South Africa in, in the accessory goods industry. And that's why I decided to bring something else um, to the market. The, one of the biggest forms of sustainability is actually um, to empower communities because we believe that that can carry on from generation to generation all the time. Um, but the actual reason why we believe that that is so strong is because we can actually pass a job on to someone else and make South Africa more sustainable all the time. The challenges in finding natural materials has been difficult, especially on the tip of Africa. However, we've been working with various weavers and beaders um, who hand weave materials um, from scratch that we can work with. Um, so that's been really uh, refreshing is that the fact we can work with these, um, for instance, Barrydale weavers or Amelia Jackson weavers um, and also the beaders from Kids Positive. It's been really refreshing that we can work with these different communities to create um, natural materials as opposed to finding materials elsewhere. This collection is entitled Transformative. So what we did was our inspiration as always um, has come from the talented um, talented nation that is spewing out of South Africa. Um, but what, what we decided to do was work with the hand weavers, um, the beaders, especially kids positive, um, who are AIDS, HIV AIDS mothers who actually bead. And what we did was we tried to push the boundaries as much as we could to not just make it look African or beaded or weaved, but we, we created a shorts, for example, out of a hand woven scarf. Um, which you would normally find in the, in the scarf, but we we decided to push the boundary and be more progressive in that re, in that regard. Um, we took, for instance, our beadwork. We created Morse code out of it, so you will see that the beaded scarf on the on the travel captain is um, actually Morse code, and it actually says Research Unit South Africa, but it's in Morse code. The smiley face was done um, through thinking about African masks, for example, like the African masks that have the six eyes, just pushing on the progressive boundaries of making a smiley face and making a South African mask or an African mask look more progressive. Um, and also, again, it, it, it also has Morse code in it. So there's a lot of coding. There's a lot of transformative uh, ways that we thought about things. There's a, lot of, um, there's a lot of really just pushing the boundaries of what South Africa can actually do and what we can show the rest of the world and also just really high quality.